Tonight, the community is coming together to remember Jonah Brown. He died riding his motorcycle on I-75. It happened early Saturday morning in Estero and sparked a massive investigation. Tonight, ABC7 Sarah Mankiewicz is getting us more on how loved ones are honoring him. If I have one last moment, I will say that I will love him to the end of my life. That I'm going to miss him. Alexandra Roman was married to Jonah for 12 years. She tells me Jonah leaves behind two kids after his motorcycle crashed on I-75 in Estero last weekend. She called me and I, I screamed in the phone. I was like, what? Like, no, like, that's not, it's just hard. It's not something that you expect. It's Jonah's family held a memorial car meet Friday night for everyone who loved him to come together and celebrate Jonah's life. It's been very tough, but we're just here to celebrate Jonathan's life, to support our family, and this is, what his passion, this is who he is. The centerpieces of this event are Jonah's iconic purple car here behind me and his Jeep, which his family says they'll continue to drive to help keep his memory alive. That was his passion. Um, he loved his bike. I'm not gonna hate bikes for it. We're just gonna keep living, moving forward, and you know, keep living his passion. Jonah's brother Christian says they bonded over their love of cars, and he hopes to keep the tradition of car meets going in his brother's honor. This is more than, uh, him passing away, this is life for him. We've reached out to the Lee County Sheriff's Office about their investigation on the crash. They told us they have no updates right now. In Lehigh Acres, Sarah Mankiewicz, ABC7.